Today we are going to discuss the compensatory effects in response to increased blood volume. Now if the amount of blood in the body is increased or the volume of blood in the body is increased by injecting more blood or more volume or more fluid in the circulatory system then how the body will compensate this this increased volume or what will be the compensatory effects in response to increased blood volume now to understand this topic we must remember that in our last lecture we discussed that when we plot the cardiac output curve and we dis when we plot the cardiac output curve and we plot the venous return curve they both both the cardiac output and venous return curve they meet each other at equilibrium point which have been which has been labeled as point a here we see that we have the cardiac output and venous return on the y axis cardiac output and venous return and we have the right atrial pressure on the x axis the point at which the cardiac output curve and the venous x uh, venous return curve meet each other is point a and at this point the right atrial pressure is zero the right atrial pressure is 0 mm of mercury and the mean systemic filling pressure is 7 mm of mercury. If the right atrial pressure starts increasing, the venous return will start decreasing and it will become 0. The venous return will become 0 at this point or when the right atrial pressure becomes 7. Because the mean systemic filling pressure or the pressure or the pressure, the mean systemic filling pressure, the pressure which is basically pumping or forcing the blood to move towards the heart, it is 7 normally. So when the pressure in the right atrium, pressure in the right atrium, it also becomes 7, then the venous return becomes 0. That is something which we have discussed again and again. And when the right atrial pressure starts increasing, due to any reason initially there is an increase in the cardiac output but then it forms a plateau now if we inject more volume if we inject more volume of blood into the circulatory system we have injected more volume or more blood or more fluid into the system due to the increasing volume this venous return curve this venous return curve it will shift upwards and it will shift rightward because due to increasing volume due to the increased amount of volume the mean systemic filling pressure has increased the mean systemic filling pressure has increased because this pressure shows the filling of the circulatory system it shows the filling of the circulatory system now, due to increased volume of blood, the, the, the vessels, the blood, uh, the veins also gets distended, distended, they get distended and resistance in the veins, it drops. So due to drop in the resistance and due to increase in the venous, uh, the mean systemic filling pressure, the venous return curve, this blue curve, it becomes, it has been shown with this black curve now, it has moved upward and it has moved rightward and this curve this new venous return curve it has a mean systemic filling pressure of 16 now for example it may be 17 or 18 or anything but the mean systemic filling pressure has increased the pressure which is basically forcing the blood or helping the blood or moving the blood towards the right atrium and the right the the cardiac output curve and the venous return curve now meet each other at this level now at this level the cardiac output in the venous return is very much high this is the level of cardiac output and venous return in the when the at point b initially they were meeting each other at this point this point was for the normal human beings and this point is after injecting extra volume of blood in the human body. Now we are going to see or the topic of our discussion is the compensatory effects in response to increased blood volume. Now what the body will be doing to bring back this to bring this point back to the point A because this is the normal 
equilibrium point this is the normal equilibrium now how the body is going to bring this uh, back towards the normal equilibrium point from the mean systemic filling pressure of 16 to to the normal mean systemic filling pressure of 7 and from the cardiac output and venous return of more than 10 liters per minute to cardiac output and venous return of around 5 liters per minute which is normal and from the right atrial pressure of this level to the right atrial pressure of this normal zero level so how this level is going to be brought back to this point how these effects how the body is going to compensate the increased blood volume so the body will initiate three main effects first of all the capillary pressure the pressure in the capillaries at these points it will get increased because there will be more filling of the vessels there will be more fluid so the pressure in the blood vessels will increase and ultimately it will lead to increased capillary pressure Due to increased capillary pressure, fluid will start moving out of the capillaries into the tissue cells. Because now fluid pressure is high on the inside of the capillaries and it is low on the uh, tissue side. So fluid will start shifting out of the circulatory system into the tissues. Now this, this one effect will start decreasing the mean systemic filling pressure because fluid will start moving out of the system the second thing is that stress relaxation will occur stress relaxation of the veins will occur when more fluid is injected into the body the veins initially get distended they initially get distended and their resistance initially de uh, decrease but when they when the volume of the blood remains high that pressure the pressure in the vessel the wall of the vest the veins it gets distributed and it decreases with the uh, passage of time and that process that process is known as stress relaxation and this stress relaxation it is it also brings down it also brings down the mean systemic filling pressure it also decreases the mean systemic filling pressure so the oozing out of the fluid due to increased capillary pressure and due to stress relaxation of the veins due to stress relaxation of the veins or relaxation of the veins the mean systemic filling pressure starts coming down towards this normal point again and finally the autoregulatory increase in the peripheral resistance now when there is more fluid coming towards the tissue when the tissues sense more fluid coming towards them they starts increasing the resistance they start secreting certain substances which will constrict which will constrict the arterioles which will constrict the arterioles so that the amount of fluid coming out of the system decreases so that the tissues should, should not re receive extra amount of blood or extra nutrients that is more than their demand so they start secreting some substances or some auto regulatory systems which will increase the peripheral resistance because the the arterioles the art arteries will get constricting constricted and due to their constriction the resistance the resistance will increase the resistance to the blood flow will increase so when the resistance is increased the mean systemic filling pre pressure will fall more so these compensatory effects the increased capillary pressure the stress relaxation and the auto regulatory increase in the peripheral resistance they will bring down they will bring back the that equilibrium point b to the normal equilibrium point a where the cardiac output is equal to the venous return again at the normal right atrial pressure and at the normal mean systemic filling pressure so that's all about the compensatory effects in the response to increased blood volume which shows that if the amount of blood volume is increased initially the venous return curve shifts 
upwards and rightward the mean systemic filling pressure increases the cardiac output increases the venous return also increases and the right arterial atrial pressures also increases but the body will compensate it by increasing the capillary pressure and moving the fluid out of the uh, system into the tissue and the veins will have uh, developed stress relaxation and there will be auto regulatory increase in the peripheral resistance there will be constriction of the arterioles which will increase the resistance all these three compensatory effects will bring back this increased mean systemic filling pressure towards normal mean systemic filling pressure it will bring back the high cardiac output towards the normal cardiac output it will bring back the high venous return towards the a uh, normal venous return it will bring back the high right atrial pressure towards the normal right atrial pressure thanks a lot for watching the video